because again, you know, today's project day again here at the old Chevelle shop. Got a got a little problem with some wind coming into the car. Uh, I replaced these air conditioners you saw a few few projects back. Took the air conditioner out, put a delete plate. Since then, I've had cold air blowing into the car or hot air, depending on what it is. So pulled the inner fender back out and uh, found out it's the cow flap. I'll show you here in just a second what I'm talking about and a little trick I used to fix it. All right, here we go. Look here, got the inner fender already taken out. Got the wheel set down there. I was talking about the cow flap. Now this is the cow of the car right here. You got a vent that sits up here. Let me bring over here to show you that. Everybody's seen it, know what I'm talking about. Right here. Wind comes down through here. This is where your windshield wiper blade stick or arm stick out. Okay, so the wind travels down through that part and through a flap that is inside down in here travels down through this area here into the car. I didn't know that. I thought by putting this on, stopping it off, I had the wind problem fixed. I didn't. So, taking it off, reading up online, I found that the, that little flap was bad, so through this access plate right here, I was able to find the flap in there. Don't know really how it's controlled so much, but what I did was uh, I stuffed it. I, you know, I got stuff. I ain't gonna tell you how I did it. You're gonna say, well, that's not the way you're supposed to fix it. Well, that's the way I fixed it. And it's gonna work, okay? Now, a little project we're doing. Got the fuel pump line going in. See, we got it tore off right here. I'm waiting for the parts man to run right now. You traded in for the one he's got now? And, uh, when he brings me the correct fittings, we'll get this thing capped back up and I'll show you what's going on. So stay tuned with me, man. Well, as you can tell, we've capped it all back up. Got the inner fender back under, got the leak stopped. Batteries back in, sealed up tight. Still waiting on Mr. Mr. G uh, FedEx man to come in. Bring us the gas line. Get that little project fixed up. I think next thing we're going to jump in there and adjust the glove compartment door. Don't like the way it looks. Sits off, cocked off a little bit, so you know, if you're in the off season like this, get a little time to get little things that's been bugging you. Uh, caught back up, so these are things that I've been wanting to do that kind of enjoy filming it, letting you watch along with me what things I do, so uh, Stay tuned, we'll, we'll cap this thing and get it ready. All right, here we go, let's see. Woo, get up and get with it. Uncle Law wasn't saving nowhere. Oh well, we gotta put it back together. So, uh, had a little bit of a dilemma tell you about here shortly. Let's let the thing sing to you, son. Oh, yeah. What happened was all these fittings that I purchased would not work. Okay? Uh, this one said, I got a 5 16 fitting right here. So everything I bought wouldn't work. I boxed it all up, sent it back. I'm kind of inspecting for some leaks. I don't see none. I guess I did a fair job on that. Alright, so there you go. Another halfway done project by me, but you know, hey, that's the way things are. We're all working on. Glad you tuned in. See you again next time. Thanks.